It's all about history on this episode of Flipside. Check it out. Hey, it's your producer, Mike Mattox, with another episode of Flipside OTR. Uh, In this installment, it's all about the laws of polarity, you know what I mean? History. Um, You know, the truth is the truth, and we're not going to lie. I guess Flipside has to be the great reconciler on this episode. Check it out. What's your name? Uh, Richard Franklin. Yeah. And what do you represent, Rich? Um, I'm an Aboriginal Australian. I'm Gundi Jamara. I just got back from LA, actually. I'm a filmmaker. And won an award in the Hollywood Black Film Festival over there. Um, I used to investigate deaths in custody. Um, that's what I do as a sort of fight. I mean, we have this country, it promotes itself as such a righteous, proud nation, but there's a lot of dark sides to it, you know, like mandatory slaughter. I mean, we're living in the dark ages. Yeah, that's right. Um, basically, Australia's got... Um, we live in a nursery version of history, you know. Um, we teach in our schools that our explorers are wonderful people, people like Cook and Mitchell, and the fact is that um, they're documented rapists and murderers, and um, so we hide the actual truth. When I was born, I wasn't a citizen because it said so in the Constitution. One in six Aboriginal children were taken, my sister among them and many of my cousins. And they were taken to places where they could speak for 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the afternoon. I mean, this isn't... um, This is fact. This isn't the nursery version. And Australia, any society, has access points to wealth and power that enable people to create their own symbols and images, cultural platforms and a whole host of other things. And the access points in this case are very, very much controlled um, by a dominant culture who has no idea about their history. And that's why we have these situations here. That's why America has its situations. They won't acknowledge what has happened in the past. And only by acknowledging can we ever truly overcome it. People are reaching an understanding that um, the John Howards of the world are living in the past and they're living in a mythical past and they want true leadership, they want courage, they want strength and you know we have that and it's going to get bigger, it's going to snowball. It'll come a day when the black man in Australia will walk down the street and be regarded with a great, as in great pride because they have and are part of the oldest living culture in the world and when, once we start throwing that forward as a thing of pride as opposed to a thing of shame we will go better places. And I will be there on that day my brother. Peace, enough respect. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Peace, peace, Flexi D, fella D, you know me, I'm here with my man. Cine Man, TKU, SA, IRA and Supreme Graffiti Team. Uh, started in ground control. How long have you been down with the B-Boy scene for? I reckon probably started B-Boying around 82. Wow. Because the B-Boy, and, well, you know, I was in Campbell, most people think it's a snobby area, but you know, back then there was a lot of, you know, oh, Bogan, Bondi and all that. Bondi and that, yeah, yeah. yeah you, got, friends, you know, we're all a lot of old B-boy breakers. Bondi and da- Daddy. <laughs> End 83. Uh, started right with Little Dom. Uh, then his brother Louis. Then we formed Supreme Graffiti Team. And bombed mainly from McLeod through to Eltham. What really got you kicked up back in the early 80s? What, what were you, what, who were your inspiration? Uh, like, were you watching the videos? I mean, I first met exchange students. Right, right. And then they were black guys. And they were the first guys I ever saw with Stan Smiths and superstars. And they had vinyl, you know, like old Grandmaster Flash and yeah, all that right, shit. Yeah. 80, 81. Right, and right. they were the first guys I ever saw doing like Robot, Moonwalk, all that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And from that, was what got me into it. Okay, here we are at the piece here in uh, Mount Waverley. Uh, what's going on here? It's just another legal, I guess. Just a legal, sponsored by Molotov Australia. Right. And uh, we got the SA boys out today, so which is pretty good. The old schools have got together. Yeah. Been a long time since we painted a wall together. 
I have to say my first experience with this sort of ship was with my cousins who were sharpies, you know, and that was in the end of the 70s. Westside Sharps and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, my cousin yeah, was yeah. Westside Sharps West and she used Sharps, to skate yeah. for Footscray Ice Skating Team, Fist, yeah. Footscray Ice Skating Team. All the girls would put up Fist and whatever the number was on the back of their jacket. Right. That's my earliest experience with bombing. Yeah, and yeah. she'd get out, she'd hit the Red Rattlers at that stage and Blueys, hit anything when you're in your carriage and also yeah. whatever you got out, the marble, do you remember the marble yeah, yeah, yeah. black and green painted restrooms? Yeah, on those yeah, as well yeah. man, always fist and whatever the number was for all the girls in the crew. Footscray yeah. Ice Skating Team, the first bombers I remember as a serial bombing crew were girls. Wow, that's amazing. That, yeah. that, that's history right there. I couldn't get it out, I, you know, I disappeared since, you know, I kept going until about 93. Yeah, yeah. Stopped. And then when King's Way come out, of course, I seen yeah, yeah. Mr. Great. B Boy Sadie in front of the piece at Clifton Hill and got the bug again, had to come out, yeah, met up with the old yeah. boys on Facebook, and that was it. That's We're the, back uh, together uh, again, SA, hard, Supreme it's, Artist, yeah. back to rock. I come from a generation where we had to make do with everything, I suppose. We I was just saying to Flexi, we used to have to sew our own shoelaces together to get a fat pair of shoelaces and then dye the fuckers. Uh, we used to get canvas puma shoes and then paint the sides of the things and then paint the flash another colour and then the sewn together laces, you know, with back pieces and the Bronx rockers that we used to be able to get from the mountaineering shops in the city. Peace. So where do you see hip hop and mainly graffiti, that element of hip hop, headed for the future? I think it's got a long way, it'll still go, like it's just going to keep building all the time. Like, you know, you've got your new paint, new nozzles, like the old school point and shoot. And hope your final outline comes out the best. When TKU died off, SA came out of the uh, Collingwood Football Club's cheer squad. It was the initial Tim and PK and Boney were the guys that started SA. Then all these guys got into SA after that. You had Smasher and Spinks, um, Phantom, all joined SA, the die out of TKU. And these are half the guys we got here today. Like 30 years later, they're still painting, man. It blows my fucking mind. Shout out to Molotov Australia for supplying the paint. Big thanks to Giant Productions, Melbourne. Big shout out to him, man, Clark's Grouse. And you all should support him. So I think do this. It's been a long time coming since we actually got sponsored. It's really good, I'm grateful, so are the other boys. Look, it's one of those things for me, I've not painted a lot of pieces for like 20, seven years or something, to come back and see what I see now just blows my fucking mind. Another big shout out to Mr. Cax1 over there doing the character. To the right, to the right. You know, I'm really so impressed with the young guys. I'm so impressed with what they can do, you know. They've, they've evolved it to a point now where it's proper art. And, you know, like I say, look, I, I couldn't contemplate the shit they do. I, I know it, you know. I just look at it in, in awe. Part of that hieroglyphic movement, man. It's yeah, yeah. The pyramids, you know, yeah. it's still there. You know? It's still there it's and it's going stronger it. today. Yeah. I don't think it'll ever stop. I hope it never does. Yeah. You know, it's one of the last true freedoms of expression as far as any of this stuff goes. And yeah, as yeah. Big Brother comes in and figures out who's who and what's what, we're going to end up with the last few guys that are still running as rebels, but they're going to be the guys that aren't hooked up in this manner, man. Yeah, you know, because this is what's to... bringing them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technology. Yeah. That's right, you back know? to its roots, man. Getting back to its roots. No, no, it's like... no, no. It's about mm -hmm. trains. Oh, trains, all right. <laughs> Bomb in the train line. Yes, Never did yes, enough yes, of yes, that. Yes. My name's Sadie, you're watching Flipside. Hope to catch you on the other side.